You at five, a warning about West Nile virus. Larimer County saying eight times as many pools are testing positive for West Nile this year as compared to last year. Seven News reporter Lindsay Sablon speaking to one Colorado woman who contracted it a decade ago. Lindsay, she's dealing with symptoms to this day. Mike, Carolyn Boncello spends three hours in physical therapy every single day in order to maintain mobility in her right arm. She hopes her story will encourage others to protect themselves. After Larimer County Health Department just released that n mosquitoes in 91 pools of water like this tested positive for West Nile. I'm scared to death to come home. I'm Carol Ann Boncilla planned to return home from a month trip in California next week, but she's having second thoughts after the latest warning from Larimer County Health Department. Ten years ago today, a mosquito bit Boncilla while walking to her mailbox. Her life changed forever. I can't turn a normal door handle. I cannot turn a key to my car to, to drive. Her symptoms started as an ache. Within days, she lost control of the right side of her body. My arm dropped, my face dropped, which meant my eye couldn't no longer open or close. Now, two people are hospitalized in Larimer County for the West Nile virus, one with meningitis, the other encephalitis. It's very reminiscent of 2003 when we had our major outbreak that was centered in Larimer County. Then, more than 500 people contracted the virus and nine died in Larimer County alone. Since then, counties across Colorado have been proactive in spraying. But this year, there's been a jump in northern Colorado. Our concern is that these people were bitten at a time when there weren't that many mosquitoes. That it hadn't started its spike. With no cure or true prevention, the health department is reminding people your best protection is bug spray. In response to all of this, Loveland issued two targeted sprays last week, and Windsor is going to be having a spray tonight. Now, keep in mind that it takes two weeks for symptoms to show in human cases, so we may be seeing more West Nile uh, virus in human cases coming in the next few weeks. Live in Loveland, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.